Hello Scorpio, welcome to your weekly intuitive reading. I hope that you are doing well. We're going to dive into what message wants to come through for sun, moon, or rising in the sign of Scorpio. These are general messages, so please take what resonates for you and leave the rest. What's the message we have for Scorpio at this time? Interesting, Scorpio. What's going on here? Can't turn off now, so bear with me with the technical or electrical difficulties. There we go. Hmm. <laughs> very interesting morning for me already Scorpio so I apologize I did get a very strong message to do a reading for you specifically at this time usually I will take these uh, situations in question however it is April 1st <laughs> April Fool's Day Mercury retrograde so things don't always go as planned right and that's okay. We adapt, adjust, make do with uh, what energy is working with us at that time. Mercury can also be known as the trickster. So whenever you feel that you're, be, you're given a strong message and you think you know what that message is, it's important to sit with it and... Um, Ask again, am I interpreting this sign, this message correctly? We want to make sure that our past experiences don't define our current actions. Wow. Okay, Scorpio. In pure Scorpio fashion, we have near-death experience, which speaks to the annihilation of the old life and the old self so something really be big and deep is ending this is death rebirth energy let's get a little deeper into this for you of course you could also have had a near-death experience recently which would have changed your entire perspective on life and yourself. However, this this energy is really speaking of, um, yeah, the I just keep the annihilation of the old, the past versions of you that played out through different parts within you: pain, fear, doubt. So it's actually quite an exciting time. Liberating as well. It is oh, the wheel. The wheel of fortune, the wheel of karma, the wheel of life, the wheel of cycles. Uh, we are coming closer and closer to that next eclipse in Aries. Big opening energy for um, our destined point. So we're still working on um, annihilating the old, letting go, releasing patterns, relationship patterns, and beliefs about yourself, about your journey. 
So opening up with the wheel, Scorpio, and the death energy, page of emotions. All right, so this is an expression of the heart, expression of the heart chakra. Three of emotions and our relationships. Wow, queen of emotions. This is beautiful energy. So what you are releasing, letting go, what is being annihilated from your life, is how you express your heart, your love, your heart energy in relationship to others. Your heart is expanding, is opening your compassion and understanding of everyone's unique journey. It's no longer your responsibility, Scorpio. I think this is one thing that you are releasing, that rescue, rescuer, savior mentality or other patterns of codependency. You're standing true in um, your true essence. <sighs> Tell me about the wheel for Scorpio. You're also being tested, um, maybe not necessarily tested, but you are showing from where you've been to where you're going when it comes to the expression of your heart and the love that you share with others. It no longer has, and maybe you're recognizing that in the past it did have a bit of... Um, a control factor. A lot of times people pleasing can be a form of control to keep us safe. As long as everybody sees me in a certain light, they can't come at me, <laughs> attack me emotionally, mentally. But no, this is staying in your heart. Uh, the reason I say that, we have five of materials below that with the moon. And the moon is telling me we're not going to go much further because some of you Scorpios are still working through this. And it is important, the guides want you to know, that for you to completely understand what it is that you're letting go of. Where you've been and where you're heading. Tell me about the wheel. For Scorpio. Thank you. Then we have the world. Wow. I have the chills. Double confirmation that you are completing a very big and important karmic cycle in your life, Scorpio. Understanding that your perception of your connections and relationships to others, your perception of the love and compassion and empathy that you share is important and when you change your perception the, the way that you see yourself and others you change the experience the physical experience is changing so whatever you're releasing fear judgment doubt it feels good whether you totally trust it yet or not, Scorpio, with the moon there, is to be, you will. So trust it. Let go. Just witness. Keep your heart open. Be true to yourself. Be true to how you feel. Express truthfully how you feel. Energetically or emotionally, physically. Six of Cups. Yeah, a lot of reminiscing into the past. And this could actually have to do with a specific past relationship. But this reminiscing also can be of those who are no longer in this world, that are with you in the spirit world. 
Either way, you are feeling the love radiate through your heart chakra for someone from the past, someone that you've shared great love with and your heart has remained loyal to them the whole time. Some of you, this could be connecting to your spirit guides or family members on the other side. Others of you telepathically and energetically connecting to somebody very important to you that is still alive here on the planet but may not be in your current life experience in the physical. Yet, there's still a very strong um, heart, energetic heart connection Tell me about three of emotions, please. I'm hearing the ability to see yourself in others is becoming very, very strong. See your past self, your old self that you are releasing. That ability to see that playing out in others right now is um, really assisting you in non-judgment, Having compassion and empathy, remembering, oh, I remember when I was there. I remember when that's how I reacted and responded and perceived life to be and people to be. It's a really nice nudge into something new for yourself. Tell me about three of emotions for Scorpio. Thank you. Ooh, yeah. So, when it comes to working with others, connecting with others, truthfully, realistically, heart to heart, you see this new version of yourself. And this is a, a period of slow down, using your imagination or your remembrances of past experiences of yeah that was a true heart to heart soul to soul connection and I would like to experience that again I realize what I must do change let go of release to get there again and so you're in this preparation phase which is beautiful you're getting yourself ready emotionally energetically overall we have six of wands and that is overcoming some big challenges and feeling victorious in your soul's growth. May even feel like you're in the spotlight for some. Let's get you some advice. What are we going to read advice from this week? I feel like Nate, Native Spirit is calling to me. So we're going to get you one last message and some advice from the Native Spirit Oracle. Please don't forget to like this video if you click the like button. <laughs> if you're liking the video, feel free to comment. And I do love to read all of your comments. So definitely let me know how you're resonating or if you're resonating with the messages. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe. Thank you to all of you who do take the time to uh, like and subscribe and comment to all of these readings. I appreciate all of you. All right, back to the message for Scorpio. confirmation for me as well smudging ceremony is all about releasing of the old letting go clearing out the old thoughts the old beliefs the old patterns clearing out that space and medicine bag speaks all about healing and that the healing is within you that's coming forth to create this great change for you Scorpio let's read them from the book really quick
Let go of the past. Purify, detox, release whatever doesn't serve or support you in your life. Cleanse your body and environment by doing space clearing and clutter clearing. Let go of the old, discarded, and unused to make way for new energy and new beginnings. We're not going to go through the whole book, um, but basically this smudging ceremony is a way to wash away the old, wash away the past, wash away the pain. Medicine Bag is talking about the understanding, um, not holding grudges, not holding on to the experiences of the past, but having a greater understanding of how they are molding and shaping you into your true authenticity. And um, it is bringing forth your own personal medicine, that wisdom, that understanding is the medicine that you need to release the past and move into the, the new, new beginnings. And then this medicine, this wisdom will be used in the future to assist others that are going through the same thing that you are victoriously working through at this time. Profound inner and outer healing is occurring. You're a natural healer. You're on the mend and or a, a situation is being resolved. Have faith that it's happening. You are a sacred healer. You are a medicine woman, medicine man. Emotional, physical, and mental wounds um, are healing. So basically Scorpio, the annihilation of the old self is occurring during this eclipse time. You are moving through the wheel of karma and completing a very, very big, important, could have been long and painful cycle, but oh my, some beautiful energy at the end of it. Something that you can take with you into this new beginning that is um, about to open up for you. So that is what I have for you this week, Scorpio. I hope that you found this to be helpful for you. And I'm sending you out so much love. Take care. Bye.